Good evening. It's day 24, Tuesday, May 24. Matthew chapter 9, verses 37 to 38. And he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Scripture Insights Everyone loves seeing the harvest. And at times, God provides glimpses of the harvest to encourage us. However, we are not the Lord of the harvest. God is. Certainly, the harvest happens in many seasons year after year. But working in the fields requires us to rethink what it means to harvest. We ask God for workers because the harvest field is not barren, it is plentiful. What if we could truly comprehend that the harvest is directly related to prayer? The seeds we are planting in prayer will produce results. The workers will go out into the field. There will be a harvest because 500,000 Nazarenes ask the Lord of the harvest for help. What is fascinating to consider is that the harvest of our work may not be what we think. It has the potential to be greater than we could ask or imagine. Our task is to simply ask. Robert Louis Stevenson said, don't judge each day by the harvest you reap, but by the, by, but by, but by the seeds that you plant. Today's prayer, Jesus, we ask you to increase the harvest, provide us with workers around our region to realize the harvest you have for us. May we plant seeds so that others find you. We trust in you because you are the Lord of the harvest. Prayer journal reflections. What is the Holy Spirit saying to you today about the Lord's protection, direction, and revelation for your life and the life of L.A. Philness Church? Our devotion for tonight was written by Wendell Brown, District Superintendent, North Central Ohio. Thank you very much. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.